Buff bake. So buff bake again. Now this kind you could probably have the bite because it's not no chocolate in it. Okay. ourselves. Hey, it's Brain Leap, Brain Leap, Brian Leap back with a taste test and review of Buff Bakes Protein Cookie Snickerdoodle flavor. So this is a new one that I saw at the store. Uh, I don't remember these, I don't think these were on sale. So we have hormone-free whey protein, gluten-free, non-GMO, 15 grams of fiber. That is a, quite a bit. No sugar alcohols, soft bake, no trans fat. So I'm sure some of you are like, well, good grief, it's got nothing in it. 15 grams of sugar. So take it, you know, so it's a one-to-one -one relationship between sugar and protein. It's 16 grams of protein, but there's also 15 grams of fiber. So it makes me wonder how much of that is processed sugar and how much of that's found in the fiber. So I don't know what the fiber source is. Ooh, it does smell like a snickerdoodle though. So there we go. Nice. Toby, you can have some of this one kind. Come over here and sit. Come here, sit. The people saw you talking. So there we go. Definitely has a snickerdoodle-esque flavor. So, it is a soft bake. It is kind of gooey uh, in the middle. Kind of the edges seem to be well baked and the middle is kind of slightly underbaked. It's quite dense. It has good flavor uh, without being overpowering, so it's like a snickerdoodle. But most snickerdoodle stuff I've ever had, even the cookies, have not been really overpowering. It is a little on the sweet side, so you can taste all the sugar. I wonder how much of that sugar is in the icing as opposed to the, the cookie itself. It doesn't say on here where the sugar lies and everything out. Um, it does say you can microwave this for 20, 10 seconds. Should we do that to it, Toby? Do you want to microwave it or you just want to eat it? Um, I'll do that some other time. So you take it out of the wrapper, 10 seconds of microwave, soften it up. And I can see how that would probably make it a little gooier. It does make you a little dry. Pardon my lack of manners. But yeah, if you're looking for something that's not chocolate or peanut butter, which seems to be the going flavors, and you like snickerdoodles, this could be a good... Um, a good quick meal like after a workout maybe just got to make sure you keep track of your sugar intake for the day because 15 grams is quite a bit so taste wise I give it an 8 but because of the amount of sugar we're going to reduce that by a half so overall seven and a half I like that it has a lot of fiber you can really it really does feel full this would probably this is probably what 200 calories we might if I remember 300 calories but that fiber is going to really help you feel full. Uh, so that's a plus. But the sugar, it's not bad. It's just not great. And so you got to make sure you take into account that sugar intake uh, for your daily allowance. And if it falls in there, then maybe one of these a couple times a week uh, would be okay. I wouldn't have these more than once a day because it is kind of heavy. So you go, 7.5 overall. I give it 8 on flavor, but it's a 7 because of the sugar. So right in the middle overall seven and a half but it would be recommended but make sure you uh, are aware of the sugars and what your daily uh, calorie counts and stuff like that are thank you very much thanks for sharing if you liked this video please subscribe and let me know don't have a patreon or any of that stuff at least not yet maybe someday uh, please share my videos everywhere you can facebook twitter instagram twitch what's that other place that you like toby Buzz hanging off. All right. Thank you very much and see you later. Bye. See, people notice you're dot you're there. See, look at the camera. Wave to people, Toby. Wave to the people, Toby. All right.
Get down. This is the part I cut out to be some people don't see me chewing. Hmm. It's pretty good. Well, after this, we're doing beer reviews, and you like the cheese. Ugh. All right. Tsvai, oh, the tsvai.